Hello there friends and uh, welcome back to uh, part 2 of this uh, video series on how to create a uh, parallax WordPress theme in 2020 and uh, this theme is uh, for a restaurant but uh, as I said before you can uh, you can customize that for your, your own uh, needs and requirements so last in the last video we took care of the menu and um, the uh, the footer uh, the custom menus and navigations so in this video we're going to go through um, to set, how to set up the logo and uh, the header or the uh, let's say the uh, the initial image uh, part of the website and uh, and the footer so we're going to set up those uh, today and we are going to use the uh, customizer uh, for that so you can find the customizer in your back end appearance and customize and we're going to add uh, additional settings uh, in this menu and from there we can control uh, the look uh, of the site right so let's uh, head straight into it um, so in the back here uh, the files we're going to use today is uh, front page dot php the uh, the style the custom style uh, sheet that we made uh, we're not going to need any more javascript so i'm going to close this one down we're going to work on the uh, footer dot php and we don't need the header dot php so i'm going to close that one as well we are going to create a new file uh, and we're going to call it uh, customizer dot php um, i think so let's uh, let's start with that. Let's start with a new file, and let's uh, let's name it customizer.php. So in your ink folder, just uh, create a new file. Call it uh, customizer.php. You can call this file whatever you want, but I'm just gonna call it customizer.php here. And as usual, let's start up with uh, some PHP tags like this. And then uh, the normal comment uh, at package and see how I underscore parallax underscore theme and then a little comment about what this is. So this is um, uh, the customizer for the front page dot php. So now we know what this is. Um, right, let's uh, move on here. And uh, first thing we need to do, we're gonna add the logo. So I'm gonna jump down here. I just a little. Uh, first, let's uh, let's start with the basics here. So we need to create a function um, in order to uh, to hook this up to the uh, to the customizer on the back end. So I'm just gonna first create a comment saying this is uh, the uh, front page dot PHP customization like this, uh, and then another comment saying this is the logo. Then we know. Um, actually, we're gonna put that after the function. All right, so first let's create a function and let's call it uh, parallax underscore customize front, perhaps. Uh, or let's customize register like this. And the first um, parameter it takes in is the um, uh, VP underscore customize and uh, from here we can start creating our uh, customization uh, fields uh, so we're gonna cut that and paste it in here the first one is the logo um, so the logo is gonna be uh, an image um, I don't have a great logo uh, so I'm just gonna take a, a set normal image so first we need to start with uh, a section and uh, the section is uh, going to be uh, 
a logo logo section. So first we need to do VP underscore customize and this one we'll first add section like this and then uh, the ID of the section so just the logo section and then an array like so and then uh, thing we need here is first the title and um, the title just be logo easy to know what that is and then uh, the uh, the package here or the theme name so it's uh, this one here ciy underscore parallax underscore theme paste it in comma at the end because we need a few more keys here um, so the next one is a description and uh, it's a little bit nicer looking like this and the description should be uh, a uh, pages uh, sorry uh, let's see set up the logo for your site then a comma because we need one more value here and a priority so i'm gonna put this one uh, at the bottom um so 240 like this let's uh semicolon at the end there now this one's not gonna show up yet because um first of all we haven't brought it in in our functions.php so let's uh, let's do that so let's go down to functions.php and uh, just below here i'm gonna put in uh, require get underscore template underscore directory and then uh, append it and uh, where do we find this one we go to root of the theme then in our ink folder and the name of the file should be uh, customizer customizer.php and semicolon at the end all right let's go back to front end and uh, start back end and uh, if we refresh uh, you're gonna notice that uh, it's not here because we need to add a setting and a control to the section so let's head back to the customizer.php file and uh, under the uh, add section we need to add the setting so same here vp underscore customize add setting this time and uh, then an id for this setting so uh, just site underscore logo you can you can have the whatever id you want you can name it there uh, so you don't have to follow my example uh, and after site logo you need an array like this and this array uh, we're going to take in two values first the default value and uh, default uh, starts with get underscore template underscore directory underscore uri and then append it then where we can find this uh, um, default image in this case so first go to root and then uh, image folder img i created one out here uh, so now it's empty so we're gonna put an image there uh, all right so image and we're gonna call it image one this section i'm gonna use the, reuse that image uh, in another section as well so it's in jpg then a comma and then to type and this type is a femod like this and um there uh actually there are two types here so you get an option and the theme mod uh so the theme mod is specific for your for this particular theme so if you change your theme all these settings will disappear um so after that that's the only thing we need here for these two uh we also need to add a uh control for this one where you actually upload and this is not oh it's vp like this and 
Then again, we need a VP underscore customize. And this time we need to add a control. And the control is going to, do, we need to upload an image here. So we can do is uh, put in a new VP underscore customize image. This is an image we need, image control. And notice it capitalized uh, a letter. All right, and then this one takes in two uh, parameters again. So it's the uh, VP underscore customize. And then uh, the ID of this setting, and that's the site underscore logo. And then the normal array, like so. So uh, the first thing we need to add here is uh, a label like this. And this label, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna put in your logo and then the uh, name of the theme. So it's uh, CIY underscore parallax underscore theme. Then a comma, because we need to add a few more here. Then the section. And the section here is uh, logo section. So it's uh, this one up here. Copy and paste. And then the setting ID again here. Then the setting is uh, this here site logo. So let's uh, paste it in there. And then the priority within this uh, section, and um, it's uh, gonna be the first item that we'll see here, or actually it's the only item we're gonna see in this in this section. Okay, and then semicolon at the end. So that's the logo section. We need to do one more thing before we can see it in the back end in the customizer. So we need to add this action. So we're going to do an add action function like so. And it takes in two parameters. So first one is a pre-made uh, WordPress uh, function. So it's customize underscore register. So this will register the whole, this whole function and uh, tell WordPress that we're going to use this. Um, then we need to actually tell WordPress um, which function is, it has to look for. So it's this one up here, our made, the one that we made, just copy and paste, semicolon at the end and hit save. And I see what made a mistake there, uh, one, there we go. Now, if we go back to our back end and let's uh, refresh. And we got an error with the customized image control or control. Look at that. So let's, uh, let's try to spell it correctly. Control. Then save it again. And down here we got the logo. All right, so now you can see here we don't have a default because we uh, didn't put in the uh, the right path. So let's do that. So let's go back here to backend and our image. We need to find, or we need to add this uh, this image here, image image1.jpg. So let's uh, go and uh, do that. So I'm going to save it in a folder. So this is the image one. Actually, what I can do is uh, we're going to use all of these images. So I'm just going to copy all of these at the same time and then uh, just head back to our folder. And let's do this one here. And then I get the WordPress there, content, get the themes. And then it's the, this one here, and then the images, so just uh, paste it in there. All right, so now they're here. So let's, uh, let's refresh this whole thing. 
and then do logo and then you go you get the image there um if you don't get the image here after refresh try to do a hard refresh so if you're on windows uh you do control shift plus r that's a hard uh, refresh um so that should solve it otherwise check the check the code um good okay so now it's here now we need to show it here on our uh, on our front end because if we refresh nothing nothing has changed here so uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to head back to our header dot php so that's where we have the logo so let's open up that file and let's see header dot php all right so here's our menus and you can see here we already have the uh, navbar uh, logo uh, as a class so what we need to do is to add the code here so we get the get the logo uh, so for now we only have home so let's uh, let's change that so the things we need to do is open up the php tag like this and then uh, what we need to do here is we need to echo our theme mod remember we put in theme mod as a, as a type so we need to echo theme mod here so start with echo then get theme underscore mod then uh, we need uh, the id of the setting so it's the site logo so copy and uh, paste it in and the next thing we need to do is uh, to um, display the uh, the default value because uh, first time a uh, client uses the uh, theme they haven't had the time to upload their custom image yet so instead of just leaving it blank uh, it's nice to have some sort of logo there uh, a placeholder of some sort so we do the same here get template underscore directory underscore uri and then append where we can find again the uh, the uh, the image so in our in the root of a theme folder we find the ink sorry not ink the image folder then the image is this one image one dot jpeg so image one dot jpeg like this okay and then semicolon at the end that's that and uh, we have another navbar logo down here as well so we're actually going to just do the same here so this is for the uh, desktop version and down here we get the uh, uh, the mobile version so let's paste it in and that's that now let's uh, go back to our front and let's refresh uh, so this is gonna look horrible uh, it really do look horrible so that's not what we wanted so uh, let's send back here echo get theme mod I think this is nice so it's probably something with customizer let's uh, take a look what that could be so we got the logo section. Is it this thing? Or is it, yes. Um, is it down here? Get template directory. So your eye. Image. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's correct. Theme mod. Then add control. New. PP customize image control site logo and an array and what uh, section logo section site logo and the priority uh, yeah and small key header probably something here because if you look at the uh, front page it, it just brings the whole uh the whole 
uh, URL there, right? That's not what it should do. So we have site logo. Can we get a little template directory with URI? Uh, something wrong up here. Get uh, PHP echo. Well, and then uh, ah, that's right. We actually need an image. That's uh, what we need. Ah, all right. Um, so let's do image, and then we need a source. So SRC equals. Okay, now that should uh, that should actually do it. So let's uh, just add one at the end here as well. Uh, uh, th 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 there we go, right there. And then finish it off there. So, okay, and then let's just copy this whole thing again. Uh, let's uh, paste it in right there. Bump. Okay, let's uh, go back here and let's uh, save it. All right, so now we got the image there and nice and clean. Cool, all right. Uh, we actually styled it in the last video. I remember now. Uh, good, okay, so we did the logo. So the next thing we need to do is uh, let's create the, uh, the main image and uh, the call to action button and a uh, little uh, enticing text here and uh, then the footer so let's start with the uh, the header section here or the image so let's go back to our customizer.php file and in there we are just going to build on what we already have so actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to do before the logo uh, to keep it a little bit cleaner there so um, actually, yeah, let's do that before the logo. So then uh, let's do this actually picture one of our uh, parallax theme. Just gonna do a title there, picture one. And uh, then same here, we need to create a new section. VP underscore customize. Add underscore section, and uh, then this one we're gonna call uh, parallax underscore scroll, or even better, you know what? To make sure we know what X is exactly, uh, maybe let's call this one. This no, actually, this this is the whole section. We're gonna put a lot of things in here, so. Maybe parallax scroll is the one we need to use. All right, and then an array like this, and then uh, the title of this section. So the title should be uh, parallax uh, scroll. Yes, and then uh, the name of the theme. Let's go down here and paste it in, comma, and then uh, in the description, so the user knows what this is. We'll do this print f function there, then double underscore. Okay, and then uh, set up and manage your images on your home page something like that all right then the priority and then let's put that into let's make that a string and then uh, 220 because i want this one before the logo or actually you know what maybe i should uh, make it easier for myself no let's do that for now and then 
we need a setting. So again, VP underscore custom I realize I spelled this one wrong. Just a mix. Customize. And add a setting. And uh, this is the first picture. So picture underscore one. And then this one takes in another array. And the default value is going to be uh, get underscore template underscore directory underscore URI. And again, root our theme folder and images. And this is actually going to be image one again like this and then the type and the type is again theme mod and then we need to add the setting customize add control sorry control and in this control it's again the same function as down here so we, a new, so we need a new VP underscore customize underscore um, image underscore control and we need VP underscore customize and then uh, we need the uh, ID of the um, um, the setting. So that's uh, picture one, like so. And then, of course, an array. And in this array, we're going to take in first the label. And the label is going to be picture one and then the name of the theme and well, it's the parallax theme here do, 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 da, there we go then a uh, little uh, section ID and the section ID is this one parallax scroll Paste it in there. Then uh, under the section, we need a setting ID. Okay, and that's the this one here, picture one. And then the priority. So in this case, it's gonna be priority one. Like this, and then semicolon at the end. All right. Uh, let's uh, go back to our back end and let's uh, let's refresh. All right, so we get the parallax scroll here before our logo section, and here's uh, picture one again, parallax scroll. Okay, that's good. Um, now let's uh, put that into our front end as well. So we don't need the header dot php anymore. Let's open up our front page php and in our front page dot php just under get uh, the get header section we are going to add uh, the whole header section itself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get out of php right there down here get back into php so we're going to put our code in between here uh, so first a uh, little comment let's say that with the header section and this is going to take in first the class of a header image like this and we are actually going to put uh, our um, image as an inline uh, style CSS style here so we need to start with style and in here we're going to uh, uh, tell uh, WordPress what to do. 
So the first thing we need is a background image. And the background image has a URL. And in here, we need to open up PHP tags. So let's do that and close it over here. And again, echo, get the theme mod. And the theme mod is uh, picture one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right, picture one is settings ID. And uh, let's uh, paste it in there. And then once again, uh, we need to use uh, the default uh, value. Okay, so let's do get underscore template underscore directory underscore URI. And uh, where to find it? So now theme folders, uh, image, and images, image one dot jpg like uh, so and then uh, semicolon at the end there and then we need the semicolon out here uh, to finish that off uh, let's uh, let's refresh and go to the front page and see what we get all right so now it's not currently showing um, but if we open up here uh, we haven't styled it yet, so we need to style it. So let's see if we can figure this one out. All right, so we get the header image. And here you can see we get the uh, image right here. But since we haven't styled it, we uh, can't, can't see it currently. So we're going to style it uh, just in a minute. But first, let's add the rest of the information here that we need. Uh, and then we can style it. Okay, so... Let's uh, go back to our customizer.php and uh, below the image we need some text. So the first piece of text is going to be a little bit bigger. So let's do pitch a comment and picture one large text. Okay, and this time we're going to again use the VP customize, but we only need to add a setting and a control because we're going to put in this in the same section as uh, we did with the uh, image all right so the first one is uh, obviously if we customize then we need to add setting and uh, in the setting let's uh, give an idea of main picture text then uh, an array and then the default value uh, let's say the default to the security thing there and the CIY tavern that's the name of my restaurant that name of the theme with the CIY parallax theme and Let's paste it in there. Let's scroll up so you can see better. Then comma and under the default, uh, we need to add a type like this. And uh, the type is uh, theme underscore mod. That's that for that. And then let's add a control. Like this, add underscore control. And let's uh, bring in the main uh, main picture text. So it's going to be the same up here. Paste it in, and then an array. And this array, we need a label. And then uh, let's, uh, for this one, Let's uh, do uh, not picture one, maybe main header, perhaps. Main header, and then uh, we need the uh, theme name. Mm, let's see, where were we? 
right here. And under the label, we're going to need a section. And this section is parallax scroll. So it's the same section as the image. And then the um, priority. Like this, priority, and this is going to be two. Now, colon at the end. Let's set back here to our back end there. Let's uh, refresh. We get the parallax scroll, and we get the CIY tavern right there. All right, now let's uh, head into the front page and uh, let's display. Uh, actually, let's do this let's add all the text that we need uh so i want uh, a smaller text as well and then i want the opening hours for weekdays and weekends on my uh on my uh, site so let's uh do that so next let's put in a comment um so the comment here is the for the smaller text so i'm just gonna simply put it picture one smaller text like this then again on, only need to add a setting and a uh, control so add underscore setting then uh, main picture small text then an array and array again it's the default value And the default in this case is going to be um, if you want small text, maybe opening hours. So that's uh, that could be good to know in the if you're visiting a site. And then uh, the name of the theme, name of theme right there. And uh, not semicolon, not the period, comma, and then the type. It's a theme underscore mod. Then uh, we need to add the uh, uh, control. Add underscore control. And then we take in this uh, settings ID, then the array, and in this array we obviously gonna need a label, and the label for uh, this one is going to be uh, maybe small header, and then. Um, the name of the theme like this and then we need the section again parallax scroll and then uh, the priority and uh, priority in this case needs to be three then like that and the uh, next thing we need is uh, the actual opening hours on, on the weekdays. So uh, let's new uh, comment. Opening, opening hours, weekdays. Again, let's add setting. Optimize. Add setting and uh, this uh, just name it weekday underscore opening then maybe and well not maybe we need an array again default value scroll up a little weekday well value 
uh, the weekday value, sorry, default value. So Monday to Friday. Like this. And uh, then uh, the name of the theme. Our next theme right there. Semicolon, uh, not semicolon, comma, and then uh, we got the type. And the type here is theme mod. And then uh, the control for this one. Add underscore control. And uh, we take in the settings ID. And an array. Dunk. And in this one here, uh, for the weekday, um, so you need a label. And uh, this uh, label here, we get uh, weekday opening hours. Name of the uh, theme. Copy and paste, then comma there. On the label, we need section as usual. And as usual, it's the parallax scroll section. And then uh, the priority. The priority is four. Semicolon at the end. So that's the, uh, the days. And now, what we need to do is we need to add the actual times uh, for weekdays. So again, let's uh, open up control and uh, setting and control. So VP underscore customize, add underscore control. Sorry, not control. Sorry about that. Setting. Getting tired, guys. Sorry about that, add setting. All right, so the settings ID should be uh, weekday opening hours. Hours like that, and then an array. And in this array, the default value needs to be, um, um, well, whenever you want your restaurant to be open, but in my case from eight, AM to 10 PM. Don't want to work too late. And then uh, the name of the theme, which is this one up here. And paste it in there. And uh, then after default, the type. Type there and the type is the underscore mod. There we go. And then the control for VP underscore customize add underscore control. Add control and um, actually, I probably need to add a comment there. Uh, no. I don't need. So let's put in the uh, settings ID. Then the array like this, and then uh, the um, label. So this is uh, weekday hours. Name of the theme. So you can see a lot of uh, rinse and repeat here. Um, so in normal, normally you can just copy and paste and then just change whatever values you need to change. Uh, but since uh, this is more of an instruction video, I'm just gonna do all of these. So the name of the theme, sorry, the, uh, the section ID. That was a parallax on the scroll. And then the priority. 
priority is uh, one, two, three, four, five. In this case, and then semicolon at the end. So that's that. Now we obviously open on the weekends too. So the same thing here. So first a comment. Uh, so weekend opening hours. So uh, opening hours weekends. And for this, guys, I'm actually just going to copy and paste what I did in the opening hours weekdays. And then uh, I'm going to change. So that's uh, two settings and two control actions there. Paste it in. OK, so now what we need to do is just change the IDs and some of the information here. So the first one, instead of uh, weekday opening, I'm just going to change this one to weekend opening. And then instead of Monday to Friday, I'm just gonna put in weekends. And this it's the same theme and it's the theme mod. And for the control of this one, it's just uh gonna copy and paste this one, change out the ID here to weekend opening, and then instead of weekday opening hours, um we can do either other days, just maybe you have other days, but I'm just going to do weekend weekend opening hours like this. And then we get the paradox scroll. This is the same section. And the ID here should be 6. Okay, and then for the time, um, so instead of weekday uh, opening hours, we have weekend opening hours. And same down here, but first let's have a look at the default time. So weekends kind of like to sleep a little bit longer. So let's do 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Because it's the weekend, so we open a little bit longer for those guys that want to eat late and uh, drink a little bit more. And then I just copy and paste the settings ID. Put it in here. Okay, and then instead of weekday hours, we uh, can just put in... Uh, weekend hours like this and it's the parallax scroll same section and the priority should be seven let's hit save this is the uh, this is the last one here we need for our front well our header image that section so let's uh let's do a hard refresh so back the parallax scroll and here you can see all of our values right here now we need to put this into our front front end here. So let's go back to our uh, front page .php. And in this div here, header image, we are going to add um, some more information there. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add another class. So I'm gonna call this uh, header main text okay all right so and in this one here text in uh, we're gonna put in an h1 tag and in this h1 tag we're gonna we're gonna bring in uh, the, our main uh, main text so from the PHP tag and again echo get theme mod and for this one we need main text so we scroll up here to our large text here so main picture text text copy this one and paste it in there and then uh, we need the default value so it's the ciy tavern and semicolon at the end there so that's the h1 next uh, we're gonna do another div and we're gonna give it a class of uh, header, small text. And this one, we're gonna, well, it's not gonna be that small. It's gonna be an H2 tag. And again, let's open up our PHP tags and uh, let's bring in, well, let's first echo get the mod. And this time we're going to take in the small text, so main picture small text. 
is it in there and then the default uh, is opening hours okay and the next thing here is uh, for the weekday the actual the days here um, so again give it another class and give it a header weekday and this is just a normal p tag and let's open up our php tags like this and let's echo get game underscore mod and then let's uh, bring in uh, the settings id here weekday opening paste it in there and then the default value was uh, monday to friday like so semicolon at the end and then um, then the opening hours so let's give this one a class of a um, header double underscore and week day um opening this should do it and again we're gonna put this in the p tag let's open up our php tags and again echo get underscore theme underscore mod and the settings id is the weekday opening hours Let's sit back there and then the uh, default value. So I had from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Like, uh, like this, and then semicolon at the end, and then the weekend. So let's do a uh, class of header weekend and again we're going to take in the p tag so this is first uh, php then echo get oops theme underscore man mod like this and then the uh, id for that so weekend opening paste it in there and the default value should be uh, weekends I think I had right this and then the last div we need here uh, is for the actual opening hours on the weekend so let's give it a class of uh, header weekend opening and then uh, do another p tag open up PHP and then echo get theme mod and then bring in the id settings id for this one so it's opening hour weekend opening hours like so and then the default value 10 a.m because we needed a little extra sleep in the morning and then to 11 p.m and semicolon at the end. Let's uh, refresh and uh, let's let's go back here to our front end and let's refresh the page. And here you go. You can see all that. And yes, yeah, so uh, try it out here. Let's uh, let's change some of the values first. Let's uh, let's refresh here as well. And here you can see you see the image in the background here that hasn't been styled and then the text there. Um, so just to make sure it works, let's just change that to, and as you can see, it updates real time. And if I save this, publish, and uh, refresh here, you can see the CIY has disappeared there as well. All right, so that one works fine, and uh, let's do CIY there. Okay, now. Not save. Uh, publish. So okay, now we can see what we're doing. 
Um, so let's let's dye all this. Um, so the first thing we need to do is uh, let's uh, let's style the uh, uh, navigation. Uh, uh, sorry, now the uh, the image and all that. So we get that uh, nicer, a little bit nicer looking. Um, so first thing, let's uh, open up this one. So last time we did uh, the nav bar, we did all the body and uh, a tags navigation bars. Um, so let's uh, head down here and uh, let's uh, sort out the, uh, the image there, right? So after main body, uh, let's do uh, the header image. Header and underscore image. And uh, let's do a uh, height of 100 view height so it's going to take up the whole the whole view view height there and um, after height uh, the color of the text there uh, let's make it uh, white for now then the background size i want that to be a cover and a background position cover. Oh, sorry, not cover center. And the opacity is zero point eight. And I want to display it as a flex. And a flex direction is a column and align items that should be center because i want the text there uh, center and then justify content i want that to be center as well and then uh, background background a Attachment background attachment should be fixed. Background attach fixed. Okay, let's uh, save that. See what happens. Okay, we got the whole thing there. Um, I'm not sure. Is that there uh let's move on here okay and now let's uh do uh, let's take a look here at the front page header image right Get the image why well, it's not taking that one all right so if you had issues uh get an image here uh what you could have tried is just to change the image and uh upload a new image uh, and then you should see the image uh popping up there um not sure why it's not there from the beginning but regardless uh so that's what you can do just go in your customizer and uh, update your change the image and save and refresh up here and then the image should pop up all right let's uh, let's continue here with uh, styling all right so after the header image we need uh, header image text and uh, let's scroll up there okay so for the text uh, I'm gonna margin bottom uh, 20 pixels save and uh, let's refresh there okay got a little clear value there and header image as text is to make sure it's the right header oh header main text uh, 
something like this. All right, now we got bigger margin, and under the main text, uh, we're gonna do header main text and the h1 tag. And uh, this one need a font size of uh, four rem, and then margin bottom. Let's do another 10 pixels and the background color. Let's just make it pop a little bit. 666 as in the devil. And then the padding uh, 30 pixels. Let's save that and let's update see what we get. All right, so now you see it popping up a little bit there. Um, it's not the best looking, but uh, you can play around there with the styles. All right, so now let's do the small text. So we got the header small text. Um, and in this one, we need a margin bottom of 10 pixels. And then the background, same. Background color again of the same and uh, padding this time only 10 pixels because the text is here smaller. And then uh, let's refresh there. All right. Okay, let's uh, scroll up there a little. And then um, the next start is the weekdays. So header um, weekday. And this time we go straight for the p tag and the um, font weight we want here is we need bold and a background color is going to be the same 666 and then uh, the padding Five pixels and then uh, the margin bottom um, 10 pixels save it and refresh now we got uh, there nicely all right and then uh, next let's uh, do the opening hours so we do the uh, header weekday and uh, opening and uh, then the margin bottom 10 pixels the background color and the uh, padding Five pixels. Refresh there. Uh, let's see. Oh, running. All right. Okay. Let's do the last two. So that was the weekday opening. Now we need a header. Weekend. Header weekend. Let's go straight to P. And we have the font weight bold and the background color and padding another five pixels. And I know you could put these these here together, a little comma, but uh, Today flat now, and then the last one. Um, the header weekend opening the p tag. So this one's gonna be actually a little bit different. Uh, but first the uh, background color needs to be the same. Then the padding is also the same. Five 
pixels, but then we're gonna add a margin margin top there. We give it ten pixels. Save that. And let's uh, refresh. There you go. So that's the the header. Um, let's actually look take a look at the logo. Something wrong with the logo, I think. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Need to change. So we got uh, in with logo mobile. Uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, probably need to do more of the logo. Let's see. We got the logo mobile here. Uh, let's style this to a nav bar logo. And do we got underscore uh, mobile like this? Um, image and height 36 or not 36 63 pixels the uh, width should be auto and the display block let's see what it does all right okay now you see it doesn't line up there so we need there's probably some padding there so let's do nav bar logo underscore mob a then uh, remove the padding refresh and the padding's gone nice and then uh, let's change the um, main text here makes it make a little bit smaller. If you, if you decrease the size even even further, you can see that the text isn't needs to follow along there. a little bit smaller, be hard to read on mobile. Um, so let's uh, do that. Um, so let's do header main text h1 and font size to rem so okay i noticed this video is getting a bit long so uh, let's stop here and in the next video let's continue with the uh, the footer so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i uh, hope you I hope to see you in the next.